Okay, good day everyone. Today is Monday, August 24th, 2020. It's now 2.08 p.m. Temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius. It's so kind of humid, it's sunny, but uh, I'm already sweating bullets. And I'm at Bayside, Queens. Uh, this is the Bay Terrace Shopping Mall. Uh, it's one of the largest shopping center with a uh, uh, enclosed parking lot. I'm sure people who live in the suburbs are very familiar with these uh, places. So you look ahead, uh, this, there's a seating for Panera Breads. So I'm just going to walk around today and just to see the vibes of uh, this area, how is it doing, and then uh, I'm going to make a few deliveries. So come along. Uh, Applebee's uh, doing the online delivery session now the entire parking lot uh, in front of them for the very spread it out tables and wow the indoor space is completely not being used <laughs> all right and I'm gonna get off the pavement so let the cars use the pavement now uh, as you can see, uh, right across this parking lot, there's uh, all the other businesses. Outback's uh, Steakhouse further down, but uh, further down. But I'm not going that way. The stop and shop has always been open, so it's not that noteworthy. So this parking lot is uh, actually pretty big and there's additional parking up that structure over there and uh, that's I also had another video coming down from that parking area so I'll uh, probably link back to that video so you can see how you can uh, come down from that uh, parking uh, location uh, basically this uh, shopping center is uh, sectioned in two levels this is the lower level and then the upper level has that uh, up in the distance you see the five guys and behind the trees uh, is a sign for AMC oh check this out these guys are gone can you can you guys see it yep uh, completely closed I think so that's that was uh, I think that was uh, American Eagles, but now it's just a generic sign for the Bay Terrace, so they uh, they left permanently. So there are more um, retail retailers up, uh, but today I'm gonna come this way. So that was one of the set of stairs going up to the upper levels which holds the uh, post office for for Bayside there's also more shopping stores in uh, this level uh, pet store a taekwondo dojo <laughs> uh, is that what it's called? Dojo is Japanese, Taekwondo is Korean, so uh, that's not right. But you get the point.
That's one of the taller apartment buildings in this area. And uh, you can look across. And you see a bunch of uh, other taller, taller apartment buildings. Which is kind of rare in this area, in, uh, in Queens. More pavement up ahead. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful parking spots. Uh, this restaurant is not opening anymore so this corner used to be Tony Roma's but uh, but then they closed and then another restaurant came in called Allura and that also closed very quickly and that's uh, happened way before the pand pandemic happened but the five guys next to it are doing just fine uh, and I've make sure Everyone knows about that they are open. Huge phone numbers on the sign. So make sure you call them. There's uh, allergy doctors. Another doctor up ahead. And uh, Weight Watchers are not open right now. Now that's the uh, parking structure I was talking about. Uh, this is the AMC theater and it continues to be closed. I think uh, they are on the verge of uh, bankruptcy at this point. Uh, but there's no worries because Amazon is already talking about acquiring these guys. So pretty soon everything will be Amazon. Here's a map of the Bay Terrace. I started from here and I walked across, came up and I'm here now. So for those interested in the other area, maybe uh, you can check out my other video. The Bay Side is overall a uh, kind of affluent neighborhood. It's considered one of the uh, one of the uh, real estate market that is there uh, I think it's called the most expensive most unaffordable or something let's get on all right time to ride Remember guys, always practice safe driving. So I'm gonna stop the recording here. There's lots of uh, gated communities here too. So I think uh, that's part of the reason why uh, they're considered luxurious places and uh, kind of becoming unaffordable. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm driving down Bell Boulevard right now. And uh, Bell Boulevard uh, goes from uh, north to south, uh, all the way through Bayside. All right, so I just parked like well, right here at 43rd Avenue and 212th Street. Yep, uh, one of the perks of uh, living out here is that uh, parking comes easier. So uh, a lot of these areas are pretty car-centric. We're just passing a dealership right now. Look above, uh, there are cars above us too. 
looks like a Jeep dealership. Tiamo Convenience uh, also sells Blimpy. That one is dead. Power bucket to the far side while well, I'm coming this way. This is uh, the Lawton Boulevard. Uh, my GPS still uh, telling me to uh, do stuff for me. All right, anyway, let me uh, just stop that. Yes, 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 I'm good. All right. That's a Jeep, Dodge, you know, all the American cars. So that was the time uh, these uh, car dealerships weren't allowed to open. And uh, one of my friends was wondering, why, uh, how am I going to buy a car? I'm like, you know what, call yourselves, they got to figure something out. King Suflaki food truck. Yeah, this, uh, this is actually a business district in this area. So uh, we, there's a lot of food that goes in here too. White Castle. That's the Q13 bus. Bubble tea place right across. I'm gonna walk down Bell Boulevard like uh, far, about 10 blocks and then back. And uh, I, was, I was driving this way and I find that uh, it's pretty lively right now but before that all right I just came out uh, so Amazon is making returning stuff so easy I just scanned the package gave me a barcode online scan the package and uh, that box opened and I just shoved it right in uh, they're taking over the world so sorry so uh, a florist uh, mask needed. A pizza place. Two outdoor tables, three outdoor tables. All right. Maybe I should follow traffic rules. another chicken place outdoor and they're preparing outdoor seating now see some uh, very large area tents under Cinco de Mayo restaurant uh, this ramen's place is close uh, Mr. Wasabi, Gyudong uh, Kung Fu tea is open, so whoa, pretty uh, Asian neighborhood now. This is Mr. Boyo. Now keep in mind this is 2 p.m. so uh, I think uh, a lot of people finish their lunch. Another outdoor dining and that's from uh, this Korean place.
Um, these outdoor seating usually sticks out like about eight feet. So uh, parking your car near these uh, stalls can become a challenge, I guess. Uh, nail and spas are open uh, now. It's you know. If you need your nail done, uh, it is possible. But uh, I also read a story about a woman who's already diagnosed with the coronavirus, had uh, left house on the second day of quarantine and go to the nail salon anyway. And uh, the person who handled her nails was immunocompromised. Uh, let's just okay, let's dash. So, yeah, it's like. That, that was a crazy story. Yeah, you can do your nails, but uh, if you're sick, you should not go. But that woman go anyway. Let's scare the hell out of her. Alright, that's the Chase Bank. And uh, right next to the Bayside LIRR station. Okay, so wow, this is something new. Uh, I never seen this. Uh, so Shanghai Yu Garden uh, is a uh, very. They were very successful in the flushing downtown area. Let me go back to it. Yeah, they, these guys are very successful in the uh, flushing downtown area, and so they opened a new location here, I guess. And uh, now they used to do uh, outdoor dining here. And oh. That's liquor store, Martha's Country Bakery. Uh, we had we had them once. Uh, we like it. It's pretty good. Coming soon. So it looks like uh, even though the pandemic has destroyed a lot of business, but uh, if you are ready to cap it capitalize you can uh, soup things up at a cheaper price unfortunately uh, that's things come at you whether you like it or not that's uh, looks like a local pub right, so I just cross uh, please don't tell anyone yeah, but if you're like in Manhattan and you're like in the uh, Crave it is also pretty good. I had that once before. Look at that sign, and it says now we're in uh, Bayside Village uh, BID. So this is where uh, your local community is uh, designated as a uh, special business district. So they get that kind of special treatment. All right, let's pass. That unicorn ice cream. This little ice cream that uh, Dunkin' Donut is doing. Uh, Momo Ashi is uh, another one of those uh, Asian style uh, dessert. And you can eat here. The place is pretty lively actually. That sign up there it says Bayside Yaku, actually means uh, Bayside uh, Dentist. So in, uh, in Chinese media, the Bayside is just two words and it says exactly it's base side so it sounds very close to it now uh, I don't need to tell you what this is ah that's a uh, shabu they're not open 
These guys are coming soon. Nanas. Okay. That's a crap place. Have outdoor seating. I wonder how they will handle this uh, when it gets colder. <laughs> uh, hopefully, they can open up indoor dining uh, as time goes, goes by. Mad for chicken is another. Um, it's a Korean style uh, fried chicken place. Uh, I highly recommend it. They have another location in Northern Boulevard, uh, near Flushing. Uh, they have this uh, cheese rib hot pot, and I definitely recommend that you try it out. European wax. I think they are open, but uh, again, mass required. Uh, this is fall, and uh, they really make a nice outdoor dining area. So I wonder all of these uh, are actually giving a lot of business to uh, construction people, like uh, like you know your carpenters and. Home Depot for all the materials that they have to buy. <laughs> There's a church, uh, United Methodist, Methodist, for both English and Korean signs. Sorry for the camera work is a little bad because I just got this uh, Osmo Pocket and uh, still trying to figure out how to point at things. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually it's a very good camera, but it takes some skills, <laughs> like or, or actually you know some techniques. All right, so uh, we have this uh, restaurant for sale signs uh, right under the uh, signage. Um, so yeah, these guys are gone. Uh, this Lee's Garden, uh, this is actually uh, a very uh, Asian style where uh, you have a pot of uh, soup and then they will serve you food in skewers. So you stick, so you throw the whole stick skewer into the pot and uh, wait for it to get cooked and then you bring it out. It's like uh, it's like fondue uh, if you've been to uh, the melting pot and then that's one of those but you know they cannot they didn't survive the pandemic and now their store the entire store is being sold by the landlord and that's a pet grooming store also uh, emptied out to be rented Beauty salon. Some professional offices. No mask, no service. One customer at a time. One customer at a time. How can a business survive with one customer at a time? Unbelievable. Uh, this is a sushi bell. They are open. Domino's are uh, always uh, been on the delivery side, so I can imagine they are much less impacted. But uh, you know, as people lose their jobs, uh, you're gonna 
have less money to spend then so overall I think spending is uh, way down well try not to be so negative right oh my god these are closed that is closed but you know then some we make it what it is and uh, I see that a lot of uh, any place that's uh, doing uh, outdoor dining that's uh, positive news that these people survived and uh, probably doing better Alright, so uh, as you can see that this area is now uh, getting a little less bus businessy. Let me pass, let me pass, let me pass Thank you So now we have these uh, Oh, that's a nice house used for a uh, dental and f dent dentist office and stuff like that <laughs> Right across the street is the uh, Bayside Family Market. Uh, look at that! Look at that decoration up there. That's so cute. And this is uh, a Chinese place. This place never close. So we we're leaving the business district, right? So um, this is the almost the end of it, and then uh, I'll come come around. Toya 35, you know, in outdoor dining. You have to call for reservations. There's a bunch of tables. Uh, let me go, 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 go. All right, so if you go straight down, this is uh, you will reach a uh, Cultural Park. I had a video about that park. Uh, it's a really nice place. Now that's a uh, that's another professional building. A uh, little gym was there, but now they're closed. And another restaurant. Up ahead, uh, Takeda Sunrise. Well, uh, let's turn around. Just gotta go right backward where I park my car, and then uh, I'll end this walk. One thirty-nine for a dozen of egg. That's a good deal. Oh. So I was going to uh, find a Wikipedia article and read about Bayside, but I'm like, you know what, that's just uh, so un inauthentic, so let's not do that. But uh, this is like my... Uh, I will visit uh, Bayside regularly because uh, I have business here. Uh, anyone still going to school? Space available but limited social distancing. But the weather is pretty good today. I mean, it is hot, and I'm. But uh, the wind, you also get some breeze coming, so it's pretty good. This is called a Briarwood Plaza. It's a bunch of uh, schools, professional buildings. The coldest school. 
Uh, everyone's learning to code these days. If you can't code, you should be out of a job. That's terrible. Anyone find these dogs and cats? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's an interesting looking view from a Sterling Pharmacy. Poison. Parking is in the back. Make up as you are. Eh? So we are basically uh, walking backwards and see what's uh, from the other side perspective. There's a, uh, according to New York uh, condition, we temporarily closed. Then we have a restaurant for sale sign. So yeah, you know it's, they they're not opening up again, which is uh, sad. So basically, not only you, when you or your when you your restaurant closed, not only your investment is gone, your stuff gets sold by the landlord, so it goes into their pocket. Uh, I find this uh, extremely unsettling. Yeah, imagine you pour all your love and life and blood into the your business. Then somebody sold it for you. And I and you hear me say a lot because I used to own a restaurant. I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, be able to find a buyer. So, but whenever you sell your business, uh, that's not making a lot of money, you sell it at quite a loss. Anyways, oh, that's a, a artesian bakery, the French workshop. Fancy. On the side street, you have another restaurant right under the blue sign and the UPS store. Yeah, you gotta watch where you're going, right? I, I, I know your, your, your text is very important and all. People have gotten very creative with their outdoor dining area. Look at all the plants that they put up. <laughs> right now it's 3 p.m. and uh, there's uh, a lot of people actually, I would say. Another place that's uh, for rent. Let's see what we, what's that for? That looks like it's a subway. Probably a subway. Uh, the sign is gone, I can't tell. But uh, that layout is most likely a subway. Ooh. 
Anytime you hear music, okay. So, uh, more outdoor dining area getting ready. So I think uh, what happened? Oh, so these guys actually gone. The meaty is for rent. They're gone. That was a lot of food being moved. They thought they should be doing okay. Where are we going next? This will be my new new place for Shanghainese food because uh, the one, the one in Flushing is always extremely crowded. But uh, being a big person and a more of a car guy, I'll probably drive over here to have my dinner. Uh, this one's this one's also close. So it uh, looks like uh, we may uh, just we're finishing the round. Uh, that's a urgent care. And uh, many of them uh, are doing COVID testing if you uh, if you need it. I can imagine what happened these days is that uh, a lot of workers in Manhattan they would uh, be told to work from home and this is where they live so now um, you, you see that uh, Manhattan has no people but uh, all the people came to came back to uh, Bayside or Queens or other areas in the outer boroughs and bringing all the business and energy back to the outer boroughs, uh, especially uh, our friend Ashen Kid. He talks about the, what happened in Astoria, where uh, you have like hundreds of people gathering, and the police need to get involved, and you know that's uh, that's uh, totally unexpected. Alright, there are more business down that way, but uh, unfortunately uh, I have to go back and uh, meet my... Go back to where I parked. So, and there's not much else down that way. 
So uh, um, if you're interested, you should really come down to the town and take a look at it yourself. But uh, I hope you enjoy this walk, and uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do making making it. So hit the like button, subscribe, and all that. And uh, I'll see you next time.